As prices for everything keep going up uh, with inflation, this morning we know that President Biden will sign new legislation to help lower costs for millions of Americans. At least that's the hope. He's signing the Ocean Shipping Reform Act, which will reduce costs for families and ensure fair treatment for businesses, including farmers and ranchers. This comes as the Fed raised interest rates by um, uh, the largest hike in decades. Uh, joining me right now is News Nation business contributor Lydia Moynihan. Lydia, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people are asking whether this move today will make any difference. We haven't really seen a lot of moving of the needle lately. It's a very good point, and, and good morning to you. I want to note also that futures are down, so the market's initial read, obviously there's a lot of factors for what happens to the market, but the initial read seems to be they're, they're not super happy with this policy solution. And the whole issue of inflation is that you have too much money chasing too few goods. And what the Biden administration is proposing is spending more money. That's kind of been what they've been suggesting time and time again. And so that solution is actually part of the problem. There's data from the Federal Reserve of San Francisco that notes at least three percentage points of this super red hot inflation we're seeing is a result of all of this pandemic era spending, right? During, during um, the pandemic, we saw government spend basically 27% of GDP to keep the economy afloat when we only lost 9% of GDP because of the pandemic. So the economy is getting really overheated. And I think the other concern here is it's, it's sort of sending a mixed message. Yesterday, the Federal Reserve made it clear they want to rein in all of um, this inflation. And now what Biden is proposing just could further accelerate that. So it's, it's really sending a mixed message to the market. And again, this rate hike, 0.75%, uh, uh, this actually makes it the highest you know, accumulative, accumulative, I can say that word, uh, rate hike in decades. Uh, what will this look like for average Americans? Yeah, so, I mean, the implications of this can be felt probably pretty shortly, just moments after the Federal Reserve made the announcement about the rate hike yesterday. J.P. Morgan Chase, which is the largest bank in America, they loan to businesses and to consumers. They announced they would be hiking their rates. So and these, you know, reverberations are going to be felt across the economy writ large. And so if you're a borrower, you know, maybe you'll be making a little bit more on your savings account, which is great. But if you or sorry, if you're if you're a saver, whereas if you're a borrower, um, you're going to be paying a lot more money on your loans, um, whether that's a car payment, credit card debt especially for people with mortgages, if that's a, you know, an adjustable mortgage, you could be looking at an additional one, two, three percent percentage points. And that could be thousands of dollars potentially. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.